Hey, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises on and glory unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahushua Bashim, Kagadash, the born of the apostles, and the elders of the great millstone, and peace and salutation to the Akiyam, to the elect that are scattered across the four corners of this earth, put in the truth and faith and sincerity. I'm Shema Allah from the GMS Houston camp, and this lesson is going to be titled Ancient Hatred. I was just watching a brother uh, video in our camp, uh, uh, Lamar Moff, right? and he was uh, basically going into the hatred that we saw for us. And, uh, you know, that inspired me to do this lesson. You see, because as he was going through the definitions of the word perpetual, you see, which I will read in Ezekiel 35 and 5, you know, I seen something, right, that made me want to do this lesson. So, you know, let's just get started in Ezekiel 35, verse 5. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel. Right? So this is going into, who? This is going into Esau Edom. Right? Because when you go up here, Ezekiel 35, one more, the, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. And we know that Esau Edom, go to the book of Genesis 36, right? The, like the brother, he went into that. Esau, Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. The Edomite, that's where they lived at. Right? And they have shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword. You see, uh, the Israelites are the Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. And we know the history that he has done unto us, right? The hatred that he has showed unto us through our history. It says, you know, this word perpetual is the word I want to get. Right? Strong's H5769, right? I lum. And when you go into it, right, it says long duration and antiquity, future, I don't even know how to say that, futurity, futurity, forever, ever, everlasting, ever more perpetual, old, ancient world. <laughs> the ancient time, long time, forever, always, continuous existence, perpetual, everlasting, indefinite, or unending future eternity. Right, and then once you go into the strong definition right here, you you know you go through here at the bottom where it says beginning of the world. <laughs> it says always up here too. So this man has always had this hatred. From the beginning, you see, and what happened at the beginning? Cain slew Abel. That same spirit that was in Cain is the same spirit that's in Esau, you know, so called Caucasian. You see, this hatred has been in him. You see, the most I created him to be this way, to be the wicked. You see. So called Caucasian, so called white man, right? Which is biblical nationality is Esau. You know, the Edomites. This thing have been implanted in them. And our people don't understand that, man. There's no amount of marching, crying, or pleading, or begging, right? But, hey, this man, you know, wants to see you destroyed. It ain't no change in his mind. This is in him. This man know the history. This man know about the, the the blessing of Jacob and how he got it and how Esau gave up his birthright. This man know that. So, I, like, that hatred is going to be there. This is Genesis 4 and 1. And Adam knew Eve, his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from Yahweh. And she bare and she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto Yahweh. And Abel, he brought of the firstling of his flock and of the fat thereof. And Yahweh had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain, to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. So he had respect unto Abel's offering. Because when you go back, 
the serpent, right, which was the same spirit <laughs> that was that's in Cain. The serpent caused Adam and Eve to fall. Right, he went to Eve, and Eve went to Adam with that the poison of that serpent of the things that he, the serpent, which was a man, was telling Eve. And from that part on, hey, we fell. Right. That, that was basically the beginning of sin. Disobeying right the most high. Right? Doing something that he said don't do. And for sin, sin requires a blood sacrifice, an animal sacrifice. You see, which Cain offering fruit. Right, that's that's in um that's part of the uh the law, you see, of the you know, we got high holy days, uh the feast of the first fruits. Right? When I mean, you supposed to uh offer the first right of the fruits of the ground. You see, a hey, but for sin requires blood sacrifice. In the book of Leviticus, I believe that's seventeen. In 11, um, you know, that the blood makes an atonement for the soul, you see. But it says unto Cain, unto his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And Yahweh said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, Sin lied at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel his brother and slew him. <laughs> it says, And Yahweh said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. Am I my brother's keeper? So this hatred started way back then. He murdered his brother. Right, that's in the law. Right, thou thou shalt not kill. You see, or laata ratazak, which means thou shalt not murder. He murdered him without a cause. That's what that law is saying: thou shalt not murder. You see, and that's what he did against Abel, which at this time. The Israelites weren't established, right? But we were the sons of God back then. You see, and Abel came back as an Israelite, right? Through reincarnation. You see, but a hey, the point is that this that this hatred has been from the beginning. That's why Yahweh Shai said this. In the book of John, 8 and 44, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. When he was talking to them, he was saying, you you, you acting just like Esau. You, and, and you going to do and be into the things that he into. You know, you, you, you being just like him because he the wicked. And he was a murderer from the beginning, talking about Cain. This is what Yahweh Shah was talking about. So when you go back to Ezekiel 35 verse 5, it says that um, go back to the Petro, he said that he was a murderer from the beginning. Strong's H5769, I alone. And go back to the strong definition, it says beginning of the world. All right? He was a murderer. He said he was a murderer from the beginning. What well, came? You see? And the scripture also say if you hate your brother, right? It was talking about, you know, us and his truth. Right? But say if you hate your brother, you're a murderer. Right? So this man is just a murderer all around. And Esau is our actual brother. But but he broke that covenant from the things that he had done unto us. He broke that brotherly covenant, and the Most High speaks about that in the book of Obadiah. You 
You see? Hey, but this is Ezekiel 35 and 11. Therefore, as I live, said Jehovah, I will do even according to thine anger and according to thine envy, which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. So the most high is going to that same hatred that he been having. That's never going anywhere. Hey, because Esau, he's going to have this hatred against the Israelites as long as he exists. As long as he exists, this hatred is going to be in him. That's why extermination is his final destination. <laughs> That's his final destination, his extermination. See, he got to be taken out. But that same hatred that he's been having, that he's been using it against us, you know, Shedding the blood of the children of Israel, you know, doing us wrong, right? The Mosai is going to do unto him according to that same hatred, right? By using us, of course, in righteousness, this man will get paid back. And he shall have judgment without mercy. They have showed no mercy. So this is how it's going to go down. He's going to get paid back the same. You reap what you sow, Right? That's not a vain statement. That's actually, that's that's facts. That's truth. And this man is going to get that double. So, I hope you're listening to Edifying. That I'm going to say Shalom.